In or out of their costumes, these heroes bring the heat. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hottest male movie superheroes. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the most attractive male superheroes, as well as the actors who play them. Keep in mind we won't be including any villains, so Loki's tricks will have to wait another day. Surprise! This will be such fun. Number 10. Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man Who else knows about this? Just show. Don't get us wrong, Tom Holland is definitely a contender for the hottest Spider-Man, but since he does play a 15-year-old Peter Parker, he's got a lot of time to impress us. You just keep treating me like a kid all the time. It's not cool. But you are a kid. And say what you will about the overall quality of the short-lived Amazing Spider-Man series, but Sony's second attempt at a Spidey franchise had one good thing going for it. Andrew Garfield As a huge Spider fan in his own right, Garfield's enthusiasm for playing the role shone through as both Peter Parker and his alter ego. He also brought wit and a more mainstream brand of nerdy to the table that we couldn't help but enjoy. The relationship he shared with Emma Stone's Gwen Stacy was palpable and sweet, and sold us on the fact that beneath the terrible jokes, this Spider-Man was a sweetheart. Okay. Right. I just feel Yeah, like just give me two seconds. Okay, All no, right. no, Don't go too time. far. Number 9. Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther So I ask you, as both warrior and king, how long do you think you can keep your friend safe from me? Hail to the king! Surrounded by the rest of the Avengers, as well as having to share the spotlight with a brand new Spider-Man, it was going to be a struggle for T'Challa of Wakanda to stand out in his debut. As it happens, he stole every scene he was in, thanks to Chadwick Boseman's badass yet alluring take on the monarch. Whether he's busting out the vibranium claws or enticing us with that accent of his, this is one kitty we can't wait to see make a return in his solo cinematic outing. Don't freeze. I never freeze. Number 8. Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange Got a photographic memory is how I got my MD and PhD at the same time. What you just did takes more than a good memory. Cumberbitches love them some Cumberbatch. So you can imagine the frenzied reaction when the Sherlock star suited up and stepped into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Unsurprisingly, he knocked it out of the park as the surgeon turned Sorcerer Supreme. With his mastery of the mystic arts going hand in hand with his enjoyably inflated ego, it's fair to say that the good doctor managed to make cumberbitches of all of us yet again, and converted a few new ones as well. Equal parts genius, tragic and oh so entertaining, he is magically delicious. We must be ready. We'll be ready. Number 7. Ben Affleck as Batman We're criminals, Alfred. We've always been criminals. Nothing's changed. Oh, yes it has, sir. Everything's changed. There were a fair amount of naysayers when it was announced that the star of Gigli and Goodwill Hunting was going to be taking up the mantle of the caped crusader. But this was far from another Daredevil fiasco. Not only did the Oscar winner bring the darkness and grit of a much older Batman to the fray, but also his overwhelming bulk. We're not saying Christian Bale didn't make for an excellent Dark Knight, but he never had a beefy shirtless training montage. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. Number 6. Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man Big man in a suit of armor. Take that off, what are you? Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. Without Tony Stark, we wouldn't have the Avengers. And without RDJ, the MCU would undoubtedly not be the juggernaut it is today. As everyone's favorite genius billionaire playboy philanthropist, Tony Stark brought with him near endless amounts of humor and narcissism, not to mention the tragedy. As a truly conflicted individual, with a desire to make up for the wrongs of his past, we can't help but be captivated by him in every scene he's in. Whether it's at the forefront or in a never-ending series of cameos, Iron Man manages to make us laugh and blush, both in and out of the suit. Truth is, I am Iron Man. Number 5. Chris Pratt as Peter Quill, also known as Star-Lord Star-Lord. Who? Star-Lord, man. Legendary outlaw. Defying all expectations with their arrival on the big screen, the Guardian's success was spearheaded by Peter Quill's magnetic personality as the galaxy's most unlucky outlaw. Whether he's making an ass of himself, 
flirting with every species in the cosmos, or finding the unlikely hero within. Star-Lord easily managed to make us fall in love with the space-faring franchise, as well as 70s music. All this wouldn't be possible without Chris Pratt's natural charisma. That and his surprising transformation from Andy Dwyer to leader of the Guardians. I'm in a band. It's called Just the Tip. And actually, if anyone here plays bass, uh, we need a bassist. Yes. Now that's what we call hooked on a feeling. I would be honored, yes, in the name of research. Number four, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. What is this place? For nearly 20 years, the mutant from Down Under has given us the definitive portrayal of the X-Men's resident adamantium clawed death machine. While an actor may come along in the future who can also bring depth to Logan's tortured character, it's pretty clear that they'll have their work cut out for them given Hugh Jackman's iconic depiction. Whether it's channeling his beastly side, giving glimpses into his numerous emotional scars, or just letting those muscles rip, this Aussie is the Wolverine. Besides, no one says Bub quite like he does. Bub. And what happened to your clothes? My, oh. Would you believe me if I told you I was sent here from the future? Number three, Henry Cavill as Superman. Hi, hello, Lex, it is a pleasure. Ow, wow, that is a good grip. You should not pick a fight with this person. While no one will ever capture the honest Boy Scout nature that came from Christopher Reeve's immortal portrayal of the Man of Steel, Henry Cavill has certainly made his mark. Aside from just looking like the last son of Krypton due to his impressive build, he was also able to give us a modern take on Clark Kent's desire to find a place in the world. He might have been pushed to the side slightly when taking on the bat, but with those rippling muscles, tight super suit, and chiseled features, Soups is never that far from attention. What are you smiling about, Captain? Nothing, sir. I just think he's kind of hot. Get in the car, Captain. Mm -hmm, yes, sir. Number two, Chris Hemsworth as Thor. This drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! <laughs> Thor, but not complaining. Looking like he stepped right out of Norse mythology, the literal thunder from Down Under has managed to set fire to a lot of hearts in recent years. Aside from an incredible Asgardian physique, the way the middle Hemsworth manages to bring out Thor's raw honesty and naivete makes the character wholly lovable. He loves nothing more than a good bit of merriment, and has an overwhelming desire to protect both worlds from harm. Even when he gets his hair cut and is tossed into a gladiatorial arena, he still manages to pull off the ruggedly cute combo. You and I had a fight recently. Did I win? No, I won. Easily. Doesn't sound right. Well, that's true. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You gotta be careful. I might not be there next time. Oh, and Logan. Stay away from my girl. Look, the city's flying. We're fighting an army of robots. And I have a bow and arrow. None of this makes sense. Don't say it. Don't you say I it. I left. Come on! Number one, Chris Evans as Captain America. How'd you feel? <sighs> taller. Um, you look taller. We could probably go on all day about how Cap's super soldier body makes us see stars and stripes. But many of today's fans admire the first Avenger due to the man underneath. He may be as patriotic as can be, but thanks to Chris Evans' performance, he manages to paint Captain America as a relevant, humble, and conscientious man who is always pushing to do the right thing. He may have his fair share of flaws, but his unmoving determination to stand up for truth, justice, and all that good stuff makes him undeniably attractive. After all, who doesn't love a man in uniform? Especially that uniform. I have the exact same glasses. Wow, you two are practically twins. Yeah, I wish. Specimen. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.